Hey guys, it's Billy and Banzai. Just got back from the park, and today, in this video, um, I want to continue the conversation about talking about these splits, um, or these two polarities inside you, which is the animal soul and your spirit. And the thing that the Bible conveys symbolically, you know, the crucifixion, is holding that tension and that balance. You know, the arms are both the tension of the animal soul, which is your unconscious part of you, and then your conscious part of you, which is your spirit. And you have to hold that tension. And like a cross, you have to hold both these arms straight. And it's kind of like the scene in Mulan where she's carrying up the water in these buckets in her arms up the hill. You know, that tension and that strength comes from that balance, you know, from being able to basically hold this energy that's created when you have this balance and this tension and to use it toward a focused experience. And in her case, it was just to prove to herself that her chi was, you know, was something that she wanted to express and not hide it anymore, which represents energy, which is the feminine inside of us, inside of us all. Um, and so that visual representation of holding this tension, no matter how bad people think that movie is, I think it's one of the best visually symbolic movies about feminine energy experiencing this masculine world, which is the physical, and that. Mulan as a character represents this feminine, this feminine part of us in both men and women that is having difficulty in expressing itself because this physical world is a manifestation, a reflection of our mind, which is always in war. And so the only way to protect our energy and our heart is by expressing your chi so it heals your soul, you know, and then you have to have a consciousness strong enough to empower and express this feminine energy inside of you. Um, but most of the time, which I want to clarify what I believe is the ego and altered ego. Uh, so from all my studies, ego means God. And the only experience that we have right now is the altered version of that, which is basically us only listening to these chemicals of of this animal soul which are called thoughts in our mind which is our inner child and we listen to those kind of addictive thoughts because they're chemicals more than our spirit and our energy so then these thoughts these chemicals become something we we identify with rather than the awareness that we are the one observing these thoughts coming from the chemicals that which which we call emotion and because of that it has altered our ego and created this addiction to power rather than to peace and to love and there's such a fine line between that that it's hard for people to even be aware that they are addicted to power and selfishness and pride all these unconscious behaviors and their animal soul then becomes more of their guiding life it guides their life because they are unconscious to this power of these chemicals and these thoughts that's why this work is so important at this time because and this feminine energy is creating a new consciousness for this planet which have we have never experienced so we have to really do this inner work to be able to identify and analyze the thoughts that are coming from the mind which we which is not us the mind is not who you really are it's part of this physical body and mind is consciousness on the brain which is the physical tool that we use to communicate and have language to express to other people in relationship to ourselves so the thing to identify and analyze in yourself are what are the thoughts that you identify with what are the thoughts that you're addicted to and what are the chemicals or the emotions that you are feeling in everyday situations because those are addictions. We have been trained and conditioned to be, become addicts and the greatest addiction is our emotions because if you're not feeling whole and complete then you'll use drugs, sex, violence, 
food and material items and luxuries to fulfill this addiction which is stemming from an emotion you know which is stemming from a unhealed part of us that we've either developed as a child have been conditioned to from the first seven years of our life and other lifetimes because all the judgments that you have in your head they're there for a reason and most of the time those judgments are from past lives that have trickled over good examples for me is I'm Korean and I've learned from my teacher who's a who has an ancient school of wisdom in Romania that I'm Korean because I used to judge Koreans and when I was young I I'm adopted so I have white parents and every time I was around Asian people I felt alienated and felt that there's something wrong with them and myself um, because I was with white parents and it's really hard to identify who I was so that was a lesson for me to learn that I had these judgments because I used to judge Koreans and that's why I'm Korean and so you have to ask yourself why you are in the body that you're in because that is your karma your family is also your karma your family represents your your mind and heart for men uh, fathers represent your mind and the mother represents your heart and for women your mother represents your mind and your father represents your heart so these lessons that you learn from family they're all about how you feel about you the way that you love yourself or you don't love yourself the things that you reject in yourself because they're your shadow and the reality is our shadow the things that we reject in ourselves until we heal and then it becomes um, a heaven for us but we have to do this work to become conscious so the unconscious doesn't affect us anymore it doesn't rule our life and create a fate for us which is which is symbolically communicated in archetypes in movies you know if you're unconscious you become an archetype and your fate is death or suffering but if you become awakened then you become an avatar and you become to create a new reality that unites people rather than separates and that's why I believe COVID has been a manifestation for us to deal with our addictions it's this mother love energy that is facing us to confront the things that we reject in ourselves or to come clean of them because some of us, so much of us live in denial denial to our own problems our own thoughts our own behaviors our own beliefs and until you wake up from your own denial then you are still an addict to your unconscious behavior and as honest and truthful as that sounds that's the wall that we all have to face in this time you know some people want to be slammed up against this wall and like be shoved through it or they're stuck up against the wall but the whole thing is you have to have the strength the pure masculine energy to express this feminine energy inside of you because if you can't express what you feel inside then that's the work you have to become one with your feminine and your masculine and so this feminine energy is pushing this masculine to heal itself and to heal the the hole in this donut that we have rejected in ourselves from our family our friends our culture society and we have to learn to not let the mind take control over us so yeah those are things that have been kind of on my mind today and i hope they can add a little energy and insight to your life so thank you again for watching this video and have a great day